Okay, today I'm going to show you how to print an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper in SketchUp to scale. There's the parts that I want to print. They're pretty big and there's no way to really print it in SketchUp unless you do this little trick here. You close this and you zoom in and do all this stuff here. Sometimes that doesn't work. So what I've come across is, what I do is I'll draw an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and there's my paper that I want to print to. I basically need these parts to be in front of the sheet of paper. If they're behind it, you won't see them as you drag them across. It has to be in front. So I, I pick my front view. I also have to make sure that I'm parallel projection and I zoom extents. You'll zoom ex extents again after you place them, but uh, for now we're going to pick those parts. I'm going to drag them over in front of the sheet of paper. I'm going to place them on the sheet of paper where they're at least, you know, eighth inch, quarter inch away from the edges. That should be fine. Now I'm going to zoom extents again. And there you go. Now this is one-to-one. -one. I want these to print one-to-one -one because I want to be able to paste them to wood and cut them out for one of my autonomous that I'm working on. So basically how I do this is you need another program too. You need Photoshop or some other pro program that allows you to, when you place it, expand it 100% height and width. And I will show you how that's done after I get through this part. So first thing I'm going to need to do is printer setup. And I'm going to have to print to an Adobe PDF first. And I'm also going to change the size of the paper. I like to pick 92 by 92. It doesn't matter, it could be 100 by 100, but for some reason I think SketchUp has this 92 by 92 default in there. So once I pick that I say, okay, that's my printer setup. Then I'm going to print. I'm going to print that PDF to an Adobe PDF again, which is already set. You're going to see it scale one to one and it's only going to print one page, a 92 by 92. This is good too if you've got a big sheet of paper and you want to go down to Staples and have them print all this stuff out for you. But I want to print this at home on an 8.5 by 11, so that's why I got an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and I place my parts in front of it. Just click OK. It's going to ask you where to save it. I, I just named it Print. I want it to be in my documents, so I go over here and save that. And my program pops up with the PDF that I just saved. So I just I just shut that down. Now I'm going to shrink that. Okay, now we're going to go into Photoshop and we're going to continue. Pick Photoshop. And you're going to set your page size up to 8.5 by 11. So you're going to select New, U.S. Paper, 8.5 by 11. Say OK. The next thing you're going to do is place that PDF in here. You're going to pick it where you put it, it's print, open, page, yeah, say OK. Now it's going to look like that. This isn't going to, doesn't look like it's going to fit on that 8.5 by 11 correctly. But that's why I say you need a program where you can change the width and the height of whatever you just placed to 100%. 100% 100 there, 100% there. That's going to fit on the 8.5 by 11. When you're done, you place it, and that's it. Now I just print to my printer and you can see I have it set up a, my, my PhotoSmart printer up here. Its scale is 100%. It's going to be printed to an 11 by 8.5 piece of paper and I print it. Proceed. It says some clipping will occur but you know like I say at least if it's a quarter inch away from the edges it won't, won't, won't be a problem. Print that. Good to go. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Have a good night.